The petrochemical industry is growing, impacting lives, including those in a region of Louisiana. I met with residents who expressed their concerns about the quality of air they are breathing. The land has been in the family for over 77 years. The LeBlanc, Louisiana cabin is a dream retirement spot. It was like paradise living out here. A place where the two host Bible study. It's actually a place where any and everyone would want to live. And enjoy family. I wanted to raise my children and my offspring in the environment where we could ride four wheelers. Hunting fish like I've done as a child. This is the best place I ever lived other than the fact that you can't breathe. The smell. There's times that the um, odor comes inside of the home. We have uh, burning eyes, burning throat. The pain. It feels like your chest is on fire. Instant headache. Instant. The fear. I fell to my knees. It's life threatening. All coming from their unwanted neighbors, a 287 acre landfill, and chemical plant smokestacks. The LeBlanc's Ascension Parish home sits in the heart of what is known as Cancer Alley. There are 144 plus chemical plants between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. An 85 mile strip, the EPA says, has the country's highest risk for developing cancer from air toxins, a risk five to 20 times greater than the national average. We have these gigantic facilities and they're emitting a whole range of different chemicals. 32.2 million pounds of toxic chemicals released each year. According to environmental scientist Wilma Subra, she's been researching this area for more than three decades. You can't just say this is the risk of one chemical. You have to be able to say this is the risk of all of the chemicals that are being released that the communities are being exposed to. She says that combination is making people sick. Yet the state's Department of Environmental Quality is allowing the facilities to expand, including that landfill next to the LeBlancs. I uncovered a permit by the DEQ. Their reasoning, quote, social and economic benefits outweigh the adverse environmental impacts, leaving residents like the LeBlancs stuck. We've actually sunk everything we had. <laughs> all of our savings, everything, into building this place here. A place they say is making their grandbabies sick. We no longer hear the little tiny voices anymore. The Bible tells me so. Running and playing in the yard. And that's what we did. We rode four-wheelers in the trails on the land. We fished. A little hunting. The kids just loved being over here. While environmentalists are fighting for change. If you don't fight, you die. The citizens are suffering. Homeowners like the LeBlancs are just trying to breathe. We have three ionizers in here. We use three vents. We have two fans. Cope. We've spent many days, many nights on the road riding up and down, waiting for the smell to go. And survive. This stuff actually controls all of our lives. What was once their paradise, now forever changed by smells and toxins in Louisiana's Cancer Alley. I reached out to Louisiana's Department of Environmental Quality and the EPA multiple times to better understand why they are allowing these facilities to expand. They sent me permit records but declined to provide additional comments. Reporting from the newsroom, Meredith Sheldon, WUFT News.